Yesterday ends in a trading range into the close. The high and low of that trading range are relevant levels for today's open. Note that the slow bear trend down yesterday never strayed far from the moving average. Therefore, it has not become climactic and this trading range into the close is likely a bear flag for continued downside. Today on the 30-minute chart, the market yesterday sold off from an all-time high and went sideways for the rest of the day in a tight trading range. Since a gap up should be treated as a bull bar, the gap up before yesterday's open followed by three bear bars is a V-top, which means the market is in a trading range on the higher time frame. However, yesterday was hardly a strong sell-off, which is behavior more indicative of profit-taking bulls than strong bearish institutions trying to short the market. The market is likely to continue searching for a V-bottom or double bottom to establish the bottom of the trading range. Today's context for the open, today opens within the trading range of the previous day, so treat the high and low of that range as likely resistance and support, respectively. The first thing I ask during the open is, did the market open within the price action of yesterday? Today's example shows how to read the market when it opens within the tight trading range of the previous day when the previous day was a non-climactic, relentless bear trend. A 12-point range is difficult to trade using stop orders. I prefer to sit out in this kind of price action, though the context supports further downside for two main reasons. 1. The bear trend has never become climactic. Similar to how the strongest bull trend is one that hugs the 20 EMA and relentlessly grinds up, the strongest bear trend is one that hugs the 20 EMA and relentlessly grinds down. And 2. There has been no major break of the trend line on the higher time frame chart. A trader should not be looking for a reversal trade until there has been a break of the bear trend line or until the trend accelerates away from the moving average and then produces a bullish reversal bar. My recommendation when the price action opens within the trading range of the prior day and that trading range is 15 points or less, set an alert above the top of the range and alert below the bottom of the range and go do something else until the alert triggers. My alert gets triggered by bar 16 breakout and close below close of yesterday. However, bar 17 follow through is bad. Bar 18 is a bear bar and bar 19 is a perfect doji. Bears are not strong here. It's reasonable to stay flat. Do not look for a reversal until a break of the trend line that is visible on the higher time frame and then a test of the low. Bars 26 to 32 are a V-top. It's reasonable to look for a good signal bar or a strong reversal bar around the same high for a double top. Stop order short below bar 37, which is also a perfect micro double top with bar 36. Bars 46 to 49 are the biggest breakout in the bear trend but late in the bear trend. Bar 50 is a bull reversal bar closing on its high. This is a V-bottom reversal after we just had a double top. It's reasonable to enter long on a stop order above bar 50.
Today ends in a bear channel into the close, but the bear channel is part of a trading range. Both are important to remember for tomorrow's open.